welcome to Nerd Sanctum. Today in Tech News, studies from the University of Southampton suggest that copper can help prevent uh, the spread of a neurovirus that infects over 267 million people per year. Before we talk about the particular cure for this neurovirus, first let me fully explain what this neurovirus is and what it does. Basically, this neurovirus causes gastroenteritis, or betterly known as the stomach flu. Uh, the stomach flu works as basically an inflammation of the stomach and smaller intestines. This inflammation causes abdominal cramps and pains. It also causes symptoms like diarrhea and vomiting. Um, obviously, these are very uncomfortable and irritating, which is why it's useful and helpful to actually prevent the spread of this potential uh, neurovirus. Unfortunately, preventing the spread of this particular neurovirus is pretty difficult because it can spread through a variety of ways. It can either spread through consuming contaminated liquids or food items. Um, it can also spread through contact with contaminated surfaces or person-to-person -person interactions where one of them is contaminated. But hopefully this newly discovered prevention method can reduce the amount of infections caused by contact with contaminated surfaces. Lead researcher Professor Bill Kevel of the University of Southampton discovered that when this neurovirus comes in contact with surfaces of over 60% composition of copper, that this neurovirus is rapidly destroyed. So basically, when this neurovirus comes in contact with surfaces that the outermost layer is made of 60% copper or more, uh, there's a chemical reaction in which this neurovirus is inhibited and then destroyed so it cannot further infect or contaminate other people. Current tests show that adding copper to high traffic surface areas like handrails or faucet handles can drastically reduce the number of infections by disrupting the infection cycle. Unfortunately, this neurovirus is very resistant to chemical cleaning solutions, so this method is really the only way to try and reduce the amount of infections from contaminated surfaces to person. Uh, which is very important for highly confined populations like cruise ships. Now, although this current method does reduce the amount of infections from contact with contaminated surfaces, it doesn't really cover many other things. But one potential solution I could see in the future is that for very high-risk areas that, let's say, have a very infected water supply that could lead to a very massive outbreak, this new method I was thinking of was basically if you add like a filter or some kind of liquid solution with copper ions to the water supply, well it means water supply obviously, that um, hopefully after you can mix it up and the um, after it settles that all the bacteria will actually be gone and then you can just remove the sediment so then basically you clean the entire water supply and then you don't have to worry about it for that particular area having a massive outbreak. So that's all for today's tech news. Hopefully in the near future we can see a big drop in the amount of infections and outbreaks of this neurovirus. You know, from 267 million due to Professor Bill Kevel's research and his uh, new prevention method. Hopefully that will work out. I can see potentially us adding new other solutions on top of that now that we at least know that copper can interfere with the spreading of this virus. But anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you liked this episode of Tech News. If you like this episode, please remember to leave a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any questions about the content of this episode, would like anything further explained, or even would like me to cover another topic and cover it more in depth, uh, please make sure to leave a comment below and I'll address that. If you would like to keep on top of newly trending science and tech articles, please make sure to subscribe. I'd very much appreciate it. Either way, thanks for watching. Until next time, have a good day.